Hey everyone, in case you're new here, I'm Noelle and I'm a freelance copywriter. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video, Chipotle Mexican Grill just collaborated with e.l.f. Cosmetics and together they released this eyeshadow palette. So just by looking at the pictures that I've seen online, I'm guessing that the colors of this eyeshadow palette were inspired by Chipotle's food, which is kind of weird. Um, now if it doesn't smell like tacos and burn your eyeballs, then I have no idea why these two brands collaborated, but that leads me to why I'm making this video. There's been a lot of brand collaborations over the last few years especially. I know I've seen a lot of them being advertised really heavily on Instagram, but regardless, a lot of brands have been choosing to partner with one another to release these like limited run products that are done in collaboration, and while in some instances it seems like a natural fit. Other brand collaborations don't always make that much sense to me, and this eyeshadow palette is definitely one of those cases. I really would love to know what kind of conversations went on and which company reached out to the other one first to make this eyeshadow palette a reality because it's just such a weird combination and I don't know if any of us really needed this. Um, not to knock it, I mean, if it sells, it sells, that's the most important thing here, but I really am just so curious as to why a Mexican restaurant and a makeup brand decided to put out a product together. And so, when I learned about this release, I wanted to learn a little bit more about some of the other brand collaborations that have gone on in the last few years, because obviously this isn't the first one, it probably won't be the last one, but it's such an interesting topic to me. So I did a search on Google, and I pulled up this article, and of course I'll have it linked below if you want to reference it too, but I just wanted to see what are the top brand collaborations of the last decade. And this blog post came up right away, and it lists 12 of what they consider to be the best brand collaborations. So I think we should be the judge of that. So I won't go through all of these because some of them I really don't consider brand collaborations. Some are more like celebrity endorsements and partnerships and things, but here are the ones that I think are worth mentioning. So number one is Cheetos and Forever 21. Really? Apparently Forever 21 launched a line of clothing that is basically Cheetos merchandise, and I don't understand why Cheetos couldn't have just done that on their own. Um, that one doesn't seem like a fit to me. The second one on this list is Lego and Stranger Things. Now, that one makes sense to me because Stranger Things is a show about kids that probably has a lot of kids watching and Lego is a toy. Plus, it's not unheard of for Lego to release a movie-related or TV-related line of toys anyway. That's something that they've always been doing. So this seems like a natural fit to me and I don't even know if I would call it a brand collaboration, it's really more of a licensing deal, and it's the kind of thing that's been going on forever, I mean, licensed toys are nothing new. So I wouldn't have included that in this list, but that's beside the point. <laughs> We have McDonald's and Burger King. I don't really consider this one a brand collaboration. McDonald's had been running a campaign where they were donating the proceeds from, I think, Big Mac sales, and so Burger King decided to make a public announcement that they were gonna like close their stores for the day or stop selling Whoppers or something. I think that was more of a PR stunt, not quite a collaboration. So again, I don't know if that really qualifies here. Then we have Kentucky Fried Chicken and Cheetos, which is another Cheetos collaboration, so I guess the people at Pepsi really like that kind of marketing strategy. It's very interesting to me, I'd love to know why. But this one is a natural fit too, it's it's one crappy food with another crappy food. People who like fast food also like snacks, and, and I'm one of them, so I'm not judging. <laughs> that one makes sense to me though. Then we have Sharpie and Nike, which seems a little weird. Apparently Nike put out a shoe and they wanted you to draw on it with Sharpies. Um, kind of reminds me of that Doodle Bear toy that I had when I was little. Uh, Seems like a weird concept. I don't think you'd really have to buy both together unless they came packaged together. I don't know. It seems very gimmicky. I'm curious if it worked. Again, not really a natural fit, so I'm gonna call that one probably not the best fit unless it's sold. Next on the list is Doritos and Taco Bell, and I remember that one. I think they are still doing that? I'm not sure. I've heard that like Taco Bell has like hidden menu items that have Dorito tortilla shells or something. That's a collaboration that makes sense to me and I can get behind that. Obviously like Doritos and Taco Bell, it's like the same kind of food. I mean as far as like junk food. And Doritos are also tortilla chips, which Taco Bell uses tortillas. So that's a natural fit, I get it. Also I'm guessing that Taco Bell might have some sort of deal with Pepsi who owns Doritos. So it might not have necessarily been a brand collaboration as much as it was like cross-promoting 
products within a brand, I'm not sure. But that collaboration makes sense to me. Uh, then they have Louis Vuitton and Supreme. I'm not even gonna get into that because I don't understand what the hell Supreme is. Then they have Uber and Spotify. Okay, again, that's a collaboration that makes a lot of sense because you listen to music in the car and a lot of people listen specifically to Spotify in the car. So I get that. Plus those are like super big brands with the younger generations. So yeah, that one makes sense and I'm sure it was successful. I have no idea, but I'm guessing it was successful. <laughs> And then the last one is Target and Lily Pulitzer, which is interesting to me because I don't know who that is, but I think it's a fashion designer or a fashion brand. And Target partners with a lot of different designers. They're like known for doing limited runs of designer clothing lines. So I don't know why this one is particularly special, but these brand collaborations, again, it's sort of like hit or miss. Some of them make sense and some of them really don't. Like the Spotify and Uber, that makes a lot of sense. So I don't know, I think some of these collaborations make sense, but a lot of the time I'm kind of left scratching my head. With the Chipotle and the Elf collaboration, I feel like Elf probably could have picked a more like female-oriented brand. Um, I'm guessing the like part of the reason why brands collaborate is to tap into one another's customer base. And I guess for the brands involved, working with partners from dramatically different industries probably eliminates like a conflict of interest. But I don't know, this one just seems like totally out of left field for me. Maybe I'm an outsider here in finding this collaboration weird. I don't know. There's gotta be other people who are weirded out by it too. But I have never looked at Mexican food and thought, that looks sexy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. I'm really curious how you feel about the brand collaborations that have been going on, if you've noticed them, if you've bought from them. Usually they just seem very weird to me. I think typically too, I mean most of the brands that I've been seeing doing it are not brands that I would usually be buying from, but I get the feeling that these collaborations tend to be like more expensive than the typical products released from these brands. I'm not sure because again, like I said, all these brands that have been doing them lately are brands that I'm not a customer of, so I can't say for sure. But I definitely think it's kind of a weird marketing strategy. It seems to be becoming sort of the norm, but I really have to wonder how effective it is. In this case, I really wonder what value Chipotle can bring to Elf and vice versa. And from Chipotle's point of view too, I don't know why they would want to work with a brand that's mostly geared towards women as opposed to one that's geared towards men and women. So I definitely have a lot of questions about this one, um, and I want to hear your guys' input too. So comment below, let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and helps me get seen by more people, so I really appreciate it every time that you do that, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.